Jeezy versus Gucci, the battle Young on Instagram. Jeezy. I I loved every single second of that battle. Um, there are a lot of like you know think pieces and dialogue about the relationship between those two. The rumored beef was established when an associate, an alleged associate of Young Jeezy, went to go uh, steal Gucci Mane's chain, and Gucci Mane defended himself and actually fought off the attacker and killed him. Um, and that was like the source of contention for Jeezy and 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 Gucci throughout the years since about 2005. And then also there were some rumors that their collaboration, So Icy, um, <sighs> the song So Icy. I heard that track. song out twice this weekend. Just really? Imagine, just imagine what I did every time I heard it. Just What'd imagine what I went crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went crazy every time. That song's a goodie. That song is that song is fire. I loved it when it came Socially out. Socially distance love it to this and day. safe with my mask on crazy though. Establish those guidelines, but still, absolutely. But still crazy. Um, but there was also a, um, I guess, like beef about like who compensated the most from that from that really successful track. So it's been 15 years in the making, and the things that really stood out to me were just like the behaviors of those two, right? And you know, people say that Jeezy is, I guess, like the more mature. He sees past the situation, um, and that Gucci is probably still stuck in the past, still really hood, still really aggressive. It's but still zone six. Still zone six. But I, I don't have a problem with how either of them moved. Gucci or Jeezy. Uh the like the I guess like the climax, the apex of the event was when uh Gucci played a diss track truth uh that he made against Jeezy and says, I'll put your friend in the dirt again. And then continues to like talk about like how he, you know, got away from this alleged robbery and this attack by putting an alleged friend of Jeezy literally in the dirt. So, you know, I don't I don't know if I'm if I'm Jeezy, I'm sorry, if I'm Gucci, I don't know if I get over somebody coming trying to kill me. If you're Gucci, if I'm Gucci, you don't know. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I'm totally cool that he did that. He's not over that. And I'm cool with and I, and I think the biggest thing he it's did was really actually show up. Interesting thing, man, because like obviously everyone is entitled to their rights. Right. So like I have the right to be upset that. You try to kill me, so I killed mm-hmm. your mans. And then I also have the right to be upset that you killed my mans. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody has their own right, like to be upset in this moment. So like Cheesy can stand where he stands and feels how he feels, and Gucci can stand where he stands and feels how he feels. But I love just um, how they moved. It wasn't fake. It was authentic. Um, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like this is really how I feel. How I still feel. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I want. This is what, you know what I mean? This is what I want to happen. And you'd be proud of me. I watched this over. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, nice. I watched the entire thing while I put together the day bed in the guest room. <laughs> so I had the tunes going. But no, I like. It, I felt like this was such an important moment in culture. It that, was. Like, I couldn't just let it pass by and not at least rewatch. Um, yeah. So it was, I'm so glad that they, they put this show on. It was like, sportsmanship it was just showmanship at its best i think mm-hmm. i think it was dope i mean as new yorkers right like we're more i know me i'm more familiar with jeezy's music because of course I'm that's just what die. you hear more Snowman. yeah you hear trap or die thug motivation 101 you hear that in parties more than you would probably hear gucci um and then if you're from down south like my girl is like we watch it together like she knew a lot of the gucci stuff and i do okay. all the jeezy yeah, stuff yeah, that's how it sounded so yeah that's that's how it i guess like the dy- dynamics really worked even though like I guess we just love the culture, so it's like it's just great to watch and enjoy. Um, and I didn't, I got, you know, I didn't need to see them handshake. I didn't need to see any of that. Like I knew that they were both in the room and both in the building, and nothing was nothing was popping off. So I felt like they were both in a place where they understood. Hey, like people are looking at us, and Jeezy even said it um, during uh, one is like during for a few minutes. He was like, "People, people are watching us to see how we move." Yeah. yeah, and you know, people are tuning in to see us and see how we handle this. And he referenced. You know, the recent death of King Von, the recent death of Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle, Hussle. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop Smoke earlier this year and, and, and just letting people know that that's not okay. Like, what we're doing right now, like, we're doing that so that you guys know it doesn't have to come to, to death. Now, what is, so, like, you as a real, like, a hip-hop connoisseur, you're, like, just as good as LeBron. What do you think, <laughs> um... <laughs> A&R, hip-hop A&R. Your, your, hip-hop A&R. What do you, what's your conclusion with this? Is it like, is it peace? Is it squashed? Was like, 
what did that that so icy moment of them performing? What did that signify? Is that is it over? Are they cool? Uh, they're not cool. But did they not? Did they did they not stay at the Magic City for the rest of the night? I think they went to this other club. They went to Compound together, uh, co- COVID Compound. Uh, it was it was a, like it's essentially supposed to be together. I'm not sure what happened afterwards. I'm not sure if they had a conversation. That's not really any of our business because that's street shit, and I am not a street nigga. Um, I am not <laughs> a street nigga. Exactly. Um, but like for me, like it, it's like it's all cliche, but it's like it's like hip hop just won that night, right? Like it's it's two guys that have issues that go deeper than any of us could imagine or fathom, and I can understand from Gucci's standpoint, like. You allegedly sent somebody to kill me. Like one of your people's off the strength of you, off the strength of this, off the strength of like being loyal to you, came to me, tried to end my life. So it's like, yeah, I can be in the same room with you when we see each other. It can be, you know, peaceful, but, you know, we're not going to get hookah together. Whose whose team are you on? What do you mean team? Right now, if you had to pick a side. Musically, uh, musically Jeezy. Okay, musical is easy, but like in this situation of like, yo, you sent someone to kill me. Who who side are you siding on? Whose I'm stance gonna... do you favor? Gucci's. I mean, you have to. He's the victim. Okay, I was just asking. Like he's a, he's the yeah. victim in that in that in that situation. Um, yeah. There was, I guess, like no initial aggression from him, from like the rumors that were rumored, and they're just rumors because once again, not a street guy. This guy, not a street guy, <laughs> um, just based on like what we read, like he was the victim. And, you know, the story could have been told differently if the person that came at Gucci was successful in his efforts. Right. For sure. For sure. For sure. This could have it definitely could have had a different ending. Yeah. Um, it's so funny how music works. Right. Like we both kind of side with Jeezy in terms of musically. Um, and I, I actually, when I heard of this verses came in, I texted my older cousin because he was the first one to put me on it. Um, Jeezy. Mm-hmm. And I never, I would never forget hearing trap music in that style. Like he just had this flow, this, this cadence, this, this energy, yeah. like it was different to hip hop. Like, like it was really different. So, but, um, Gucci also birthed a lot of the sound that we bop to today currently. So like. I think ultimately this was just dope that two great Atlanta legends just did it right. You know what I'm saying? Like even beyond Atlanta, just, just like hip hop legends. Hip hop, hip hop legends for sure. Yeah. Because we've seen this story go so many other ways, like you've said. We've just seen beef turn so many different ways in hip hop. Like thank God they're both over there to be in the same room. Yeah. Simple as that. You know. Big facts. So um, very glad just for the culture we got to see a healthy spar. A healthy spar. Yeah, it was it was it was a great experience for me. Um, definitely glad What'd I, you I wear? got to see it. You wore and watch a jersey, it. you bird. <laughs> I just wore regular house shit. I wore out a t shirt and some shorts. That's Ooh, babe, it. Put on my put on my jersey. I'm putting on my <laughs> <laughs> jersey and my fitted New York. Yeah, you had it navy blue. My fitted. I've still got fitted. I don't let's wear talk them. About, let's talk about the navy blue Yankee fitted. I wore that with everything. It's a crown. It's not even a fit. It's a crown. 